Tammy. Hi, I'm Aoife. And this is Shane. We have a 30-foot Sparkman and Stevens design monohull named Soraya. Like our family, she's small in size, but she's big on finding adventure. This year we say goodbye to the 9 to 5, packed up our house and made Soraya home. So join us if you like as we travel the Queensland coast, discovering the land, sea and hopefully avoid a family mutiny. After nine days of waiting for the rain to clear, we finally had a weather window to travel the 55 nautical mile passage from Bundaberg Marina to Lady Musgrave Island and the gateway to the Great Barrier Reef. You won't see it on the six o'clock news. Slow in the mail. Nearly ten past midnight. We've just left, we're leaving the Burnett River. We are full of water, full of diesel. What else? Food, alcohol. Um, we're full of excitement. Alcohol. <laughs> we're on our way. We're not full of alcohol. The boat is full of alcohol. Sun's almost up. The sun's just come up, and there's dolphins at the bow of the boat. Good morning. Good morning. That was incredible. It's like they wanted me to touch them. They couldn't quite touch them. They kept coming back. And I could hear the noise. I could hear them talking. Like, I'm not going to do a dolphin noise, but it was amazing. <laughs> Shane's playing with dolphins. Found the boat. <laughs> having to reef in the middle of the night feeling a little bit queasy there for for a little bit best cure for seasickness is to see dolphins so we've got about two hours left and we're going to be at lady musgrave we might even be a little bit early we've been going for seven hours 
42 nautical miles sailed, nearly 43. We're averaging about six knots and we are only 14.1 nautical miles from Lady Musgrave. Yeah. Land ho! Land ho! This is Lady Musgrave. Can't really see it, but there's a reef all the way around the island. We made it. We made it! <laughs> It's 10 o'clock now and we've arrived at Lady Musgrave Island. The entrance is just over here. The tide is coming out at the moment, coming out quite fast, so we're going to wait for a quarter of a ring out on the outside of the ring. We'll wait for about an hour or two and then we're going to make our way in and find a nice anchorage. And I'm just reading our book, the Norg Patrick's Curse Coast. It's been very handy to show us how to get in because this whole lagoon here is covered in bombies that we don't want to hit. So that's my job today, spotting bombies. As you can see, there's a narrow channel which allows you to pass the reef into Lady Musgrave Island. There's rumors this was created through dynamite, though there's no records of this and it's likely a natural phenomena. There are some rules to enter safely. It's best to enter on slack tide or an hour either side and when the sun is above you with light winds so you can see the coral bombies, which are mostly uncharted, below. On arrival, we couldn't have had better conditions. The water was glassy, perfect for a swim. Any words for us? <laughs> what am I doing? What are you doing? I'm climbing up the mast. You're climbing? Well, I'm going to be pulled up. And I've lost my personal hotspot function on my phone somehow last night. So, so let's have a look at your ropes and make sure they're okay. So, okay. Someone's going up the mast to make a phone call. If we can afford a hotel, we can sleep beside the beach. I'm on top of the mast. <laughs> oh my goodness, look. Wind has picked up. That now I've got coverage. Let's get the forecast. Come on, baby. Glassiest afternoon in Lady Musgrave. Today it's blowing or predicted to blow 20 to 25, increasing 25 to 30 overnight, always in the middle of the night. Um, and at the moment there's 12 boats anchored uh, or moored. We've got a mooring. Um, our dinghy, we don't want to lose this little baby tonight. So we're going to pull up the dinghy and the outboard now to save it from being 
swept away. Nineteen twenty at the moment, not too bad. And the sun is just going down. We're on a mooring. Mooring line is attached here. Around here. All the way back to our mast with a round turn and two half inches. Three half inches. Ten o'clock at night, we're off Lady Busgrave, it's blowing 30 knots. The tide is high at the moment, oh, 4.07 metres. Waves are coming across the top of the reef and the boat is bouncing around. We're on a mooring, we've got our anchor alarm on and luckily we have not moved. Oh my god, what's that? got the forecast right, I said 30 knots. We're spinning around and around. Water over the deck. 31, 32, 33. This mooring is rated to 34, one knot to go. And as quick as the weather turned, 24 hours later, we had sunshine again. And did you see the pirate flag on that ship back there? And as we'd found had become tradition, we met with fellow cruisers in the lagoon for sundowners on the beach to admire the sunset and reflect on just how lucky we really are. So join us next week for part two of Lady Musgrave as we explore the island and the underwater world of the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, and Shane meets a man in a grey suit who tries to steal our dinner. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click subscribe and the bell button. It's a free way to be notified when we post upcoming videos.